Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video, I'm going to be driving through the city of North Manchester, Indiana. Now, for now for those of you that are not all that familiar with Indiana, or you're somewhat familiar with Indiana, North Manchester is to not be mistaken for Manchester. I mean, Manchester, North Manchester are two completely different uh, areas, two completely different cities, and they're in two completely different parts of the states. In fact, there is such thing as Manchester, Indiana, which is not even a city. Manchester, Indiana is, a un is an unincorporated community located an hour and a half south of Indianapolis and Dearborn County. North Manchester, on the other hand, is an actual city, which is located in Wabash County. Uh, it is located 48 minutes uh, southwest of Fort Wayne. So North Manchester, Indiana, it's got a population of 6,000 uh, than 112 people. And this city has been losing people at a rate of 13.7% as of the 2020 census. And other than, I mean, to be quite frank with you people, I don't really know why this community done lost so many people over the years. My only guess is maybe this city may have been an old industrial town, uh, much like many other smaller cities throughout the state of Indiana, especially in this region of Indiana. Now, Fort Wayne has done a wonderful job of reinventing itself and diversifying its economy to where it's no longer just industrial. It, it also the, the, the greater Fort Wayne economy also encompasses a lot of other uh, industries. So I'm going to guess the main reason why this town has lost so many people, uh, you know, during the, you know, from the last census to this one is because a lot of industrial jobs have disappeared out of the area. That's my only guess. Because I'm going to tell you guys right now, I don't think this is a bad town. I mean, I don't think this is a bad small little city. In fact, you do have, uh, I want to, you, you do have Manchester University here. I think is what the college here is called. Uh, if it's not called that, correct me in the comment section, but I think the college here is Manchester University which you will see on this video because I do drive through the campus. I mean, for the most part, this is a relatively, at eh, least it's a relatively quiet city. I mean, the community, I mean, uh, your neighborhoods are fairly well kept. You know, yards for the most part are well kept. The houses for the most part are also well kept. There's no part of town that I would say stay away from. It's a bad area. It looks sketchy. None of that's going on up here. And I would say uh, a lot, uh, a lot like what I said about Wabash. I would say on this video, if you're looking to live in a smaller community, small but not too small, small but still have all your basic amenities available close by and at the same time you're not too far from larger economies such as Fort Wayne in this matter I mean I would say this would be another solid place to call home it would it would definitely be a place to to, to look around and see if you can find housing within your price range And if you're looking to live here, I mean, the medium rent prices are going to go from $650 to $1250 a month. Your median home price is going to be $161,000. Now, 
Now, however, there is currently a home for sale. I mean, the prices start at $80,000, and then from that point, it jumps up to $130,000, and then from that point, it goes up. Now, I would say if you're wanting to buy a house in this city, if you're looking for something that's got decent square footage and it's got a lot size of at least 6,000 square feet, you're going to be looking at at least $130,000 for a house uh, here in North Manchester. And as I told you, this uh, city is located in Wabash County. And the uh, racial demographics are going to be 89.7% white, 1.4% black, and 7.1% Hispanic. And uh, and let me dig up a little bit of history about this city. Give me one second here. All right, Peter Oregon, Peter Oregon, O G A N, acting as the town's founder, filed for recording the original plat of Manchester on February 13th of 1846. The community was named after Manchester in England. The North Manchester Post Office has been in operation since 1838. In the early 20th century, automobiles were made here by DeWitt Motor Company, that is D-E, uh, capital W-I-T-T, -T, Motor Company. On February 1st of 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his speech at Manchester College, which you guys will see later on in the video. He gave this, this was the last time he spoke at the college campus as he was assassinated eight weeks later. Robert F. Kennedy also visited Manchester College during his 1968 presidential campaign. He too would be assassinated a few weeks later. I mean, what are they, what are they trying to suggest here? That this college is some type of, it is the Grim Reaper of political and public speakers? I don't know. Anyways, other international uh, visitors during the same decade, including Duke, Ellington, Buck, Buckminster Fuller, Ralph Nader, and Ramsey Lewis. I mean, apparently they all gave speeches here too, but I guess their speeches were cut short because during that time, there was some type of a bomb scare. So that's what they say anyways. And Thomas R. Marshall, who served as governor of Indiana, and as Vice President of the United States under President Woodrow Wilson was born here in North Manchester as well. So there's your little brief uh, history lesson of North Manchester for those of you that are interested in that type of information. Now, me personally, would I live here in North Manchester? I mean, to be quite frank, it's definitely one of those places that I would at least check out. I mean, as I told you when I first began to speak, it's a relatively quiet city. I mean, I think it's, you know, and, and I would say the outskirts of the city is, is, is beautiful. I mean, basically, uh, this city is surrounded by farmland, basically. And at the same time, you're not, I mean, you're, you're, you're within an hour of Fort Wayne. And here in North Manchester, like I told you, you have all your basic amenities at your fingertips. The infrastructure here is decent. And you have Manchester University that brings in a fair amount of revenue for the city. So, 
would I live here? I mean, if I found a house within my price range that had some of the futures that I was looking for, I would. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, even, I mean, you know, I remember, I mean, I would say probably a couple of months ago, give or take, I made a video or two telling you guys that when I look for a place to live, I try to look for a place that's diverse, that has a certain amount of uh, black population. And, you know, honestly, I have came to realize that although many people who are who are black may agree with <coughs> what I said on those videos and that's how they go about looking for a place to live I don't know man it's like I mean to be quite frank I mean and I'll elaborate on this story later but I can't elaborate on this story right now for a good reason but uh, just to kind of uh, just to kind of explain what I'm talking about right about now so you guys aren't like what the fuck uh, to make a long story short and I'll elaborate on this later I have came to realize that when looking for a decent place to live you know it doesn't always matter the ethnic the, the ethnic makeup of a community I mean, you know, and, and some of the advice I get, I've been giving you guys recently when looking for a place to live, some of the advice I gave you guys when I first began this channel for looking for a place to live, I'm going to go back to that advice and I'm going to take that, I'm going to take my own advice because honestly, I truly do not buy into the whole if I live in a community that's got a certain percentage of blacks or higher, I'm gonna be better off, I'm gonna be safer, and you know, I don't believe in that. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. Now there was a time, a very short time, where I was starting to kind of wonder about that. Now, maybe if you live in certain regions of the country, that type of uh, that type of advice might be more valid. Now, I have lived here in Indiana for a substantial amount of time. I first moved here back in 2010 from Ohio. And I left Indiana a couple of years ago to move to Alabama. And, spoiler alert, I wasn't going to tell you guys this until later, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, spoiler alert. I am back in Indiana again. I mean, I'm not back here as a resident. My residency still is in Alabama. But to be honest with you folks, I am back up here looking at houses. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, many of you guys have seen my different DoorDash videos up here in Indiana. So yes, I am back here in Indiana for now looking at houses. Yes, I am. Now, the housing market up here is still busy. Housing prices are still, in my opinion, bunkers. But you know what? I'm willing to go ahead and pay that extra money. And, uh, you know, hopefully, I mean, I'm not gonna do anything dumb. I'm not gonna do anything ridiculous. But I decided to come up here and look around for housing. See if I can find me something that is of a decent price. And when I do, I'm going to grab it up. Now, please don't ask me where I'm going to move to. I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, just for my own protection and security. I don't tell people where I live. So, you know, don't even ask me. But I will tell you, yes, I am looking to move back to Indiana. I mean, there's a lot of things about Indiana that I liked. 
And when I was up here before, I took it all for granted. And then when I went down to Alabama, a lot of that stuff wasn't there. So, and, and again, I'll elaborate later in time of why I'm making this decision to come back to Indiana. And I will elaborate later in time of why I miss Indiana. So, right now, for reasons that I'll discuss later, I'm not going to elaborate too much on why it is I'm making the decision to move back to Indiana. So, that's the reason why you guys have been seeing more Indiana content. So, spoiler alert, kind of, sort of. Alright, folks. That's all I got for the commentary. So, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the remainder of this video. So until next time, you guys have a blessed one and I'll see you on the next one.